Hi, Happy New Year. It's Chris Vincent here with Sotheby's International Realty in Banff and Canmore. And I uh, want to give you a recap on what happened this past year in real estate and what we see happening in 2018 in the Canmore, Banff, Bow Valley real estate market. The past year there was 574 MLS transactions. That's not including probably about 50 developer transactions that happened, which is the strongest year ever for real estate in Banff. Camor in the Bow Valley. There was a lot of new construction going on, uh, especially out at Seward Creek and Three Sisters. Uh, Spring Creek, Silvertip is getting ready to launch a new plan, as well as we are seeing a lot of redevelopment in the core, be it duplex, uh, custom single family home, or fourplex type properties. Overall transactions, there was $381 million of real estate sales on the MLS last year in Camor. The most significant, probably the most interesting part of this was the return of the luxury market. Uh, both in 2015 and 2016, there was only five sales above $2 million. Last year, there were 13 sales above $2 million, as well as a couple near record sales uh, above four, uh, very close to $4 million. Detached homes and semi-detached homes saw a pretty significant increase in average price this year. Um, the increase about $150,000 in the average price, which is about an 18% increase year over year. The median uh, it price for a detached and semi-detached home in Camarillo area right now is $901,000. That's about an 11% increase. And the average sale price for a detached or semi-detached home in 2017 was uh, just under $2 million, sorry, just under $1.1 million at uh, $1,098,000. Townhomes saw another pretty uh, significant increase in the average price, by up to $656,000. That was about a 12% increase. Interestingly though, the median price only increased 1% on townhomes. And this has a lot to do with the entry level of the market uh, having a lot of upward pressure on it. And just those entry level townhomes seeing pressure because there's so few of them on the market. The mid range of the market has been holding fairly stable. Elk Run is building a lot of really nice custom um, townhomes right downtown and getting some premium pricing for them. Uh, and then the top end of the market is, is moving a bit as well in the, in the townhome market. Apartments, again, saw an increase in the average sale price. They increased about 6.7% uh, to an average sale price of just about $464,000. The median price, again, increased 9% to 429 Again, this is a lot of pressure on the lower end of the market, as well as a lot of kind of lack of inventory. Land sales were down this year, and... That is most because there isn't very much for sale. Uh, in 2016, we saw Rivers Bend and we saw a lot of the new lots out in Stewart Creek being released. This year, there wasn't a big release of new lots. There was, however, a record sale in Prospect Heights for over $2.3 million for less than a 14,000 square foot river lot. Hotel condos had another exceptional year. They uh, increased uh, on the average sale price to $334,000, which is about a 16% increase. I don't know if we're going to see the same increase in prices and values on these properties again this year. There's a couple of uh, new purpose boat hotels as well as hotel redevelopments going on that I think will absorb some of the um, demand from the tourist demand there. Moving forward in 2018, inventory is going to be our challenge. Uh, and as it has been the past couple of years, there is a lot of great construction going on out in Three Sisters. We're seeing um, some townhomes, we're seeing custom single families, we're seeing some duplexes. That is bringing a lot of new product to the market that we haven't seen a lot of in the past nearly decade. Um, hopefully we start seeing some more building up in Silvertip. Uh, Spring Creek's getting ready to release another new building. There is still a lot of redevelopment happening in South Camor, Lions Park, Hospital Hill. and and a lot of custom as well as uh, spec builds going on. Starting the year off though, we're already, we're at 146 active listings. This is down from where we started in January of 2017. We were at 159 at the time last year. 
And we're down about 32% from our high in August when we were at 232 active listings. This is a big difference from where we were even five or six years ago when we were closer to four or 500 active listings at a time in the Bow Valley. People still want to recreate and live here. And, you know, there's a lot of um, people who are now choosing to commute. And with our high-speed internet, a lot of people are telling commuting. Uh, a big portion of our population are retiring here, leaving the Calgary-Edmonton corridor. As well as with the strong tourism and the low Canadian dollar, we're seeing a lot of movement within the market. So people moving up and, and shifting down within the market. So if 2018, you know, I think we're set up to have another exceptionally strong year. Um, the challenge is going to be uh, new inventory coming to market as well as resale inventory coming to market. And we're always happy to chat about what is happening in special, specific sections of the market and feel free to give us a call.